See that large human being on the right side of your screen wearing number 79? That's Penn State offensive tackle Caden Wallace. And do you see that big guy on the right side of your screen wearing number 73? That's Penn State offensive tackle Caden Wallace too. To clear up any confusion, prior to his fifth and final season in Happy Valley, Wallace flipped uniform numbers. So please, don't blast us in the comment section for misidentifying the intriguing prospect we're about to spend the next three minutes dissecting. It's the same dude. We promise. Conveniently for us, though, Wallace's jersey switch serves as a chef's kiss segue right into the meat of our analysis. Because when you compare Wallace's freshman through redshirt junior tape to a senior season tape, it's like you're watching two completely different players. While the number 79 version of Wallace did vulture away the starting right tackle spot from current Indianapolis Colts lineman Will Fries midway through the abbreviated 2020 season, the four-star prospect suffered through some prolonged growing pains. Carelessly tossed in the Power 5 deep end, Wallace flailed in a panic to keep his head above water as a pass protector, too cement-footed to dance with bendy speed rushers, and too much of a top-heavy, off-balance teeter-totter to thwart speed-to-power transitions or inside counters. I mean, you don't have to be some expert O-line guru to know that spinning 360 like a ballerina during a rep isn't ideal. However, the number 73 senior season version of Wallace comboed together an exponentially better on-field CV, an eyebrow-raising shrine bowl showing, and a where-did-that-come-from athletic masterpiece at the NFL Combine, a three-piece of wow that sent the preseason UDFA at best afterthought skyrocketing up big boards in the final leg of the draft evaluation process. In fact, according to Tom Pelissero, interest in Wallace's services was so in demand that he made nine on-site team visits in April, including six in the final 10 days NFL franchises were allowed to fly prospects in. So what suddenly changed? Honestly, no clue. But this much is obvious. Not only did the light bulb finally flick on for Wallace in 2023, it burned bright as hell. Wallace flaunted a previously unseen quick but carefully calculated kick step in pass protection that enabled him to establish stellar body positioning against speed rushers, while maintaining proper balance to absorb and ground brutish mid-play adjustments. Wallace gets the most out of his modestly long 34-inch arms, masterfully locking out defenders from his chest and maneuvering them away from the passer. According to the Shrine Bowl staff, Wallace allowed just one QB hurry and no sacks last year versus top 100 projected picks in the 2024 and 2025 NFL drafts. As a run blocker, Wallace is more of a manager than a mauler or a mover. By the third or fourth second of run reps, he tends to uncoil, losing the necessary leverage to vertically displace linemen on zone runs. And as a puller, Wallace tends to catch, not clobber, linebackers and DBs. And he's also more miss than hit when attacking at the second level. Because of those tendencies, we sort of balk at the semi-popular opinion that Wallace might bounce inside to guard in the pros. No, he is an offensive tackle, and though Wallace carries 2,200 collegiate snaps of baggage into the league as a 24-year-old rookie, his unexpected 2023 metamorphosis hints that this surprising late bloomer hasn't come close to maxing out his upside.